welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi and I'm sharing with you my favorite beauty products from the month of November. I have skincare, makeup, some home fragrance, lashes, uh, and also some hair care. Um, but before I go there, I do also want to thank you very, very much for the very kind words with regards to uh, the last couple of videos. Some of you commented on something that looked a little bit different and I did want to come clean and let you guys know that I did recently for the very first time get some lip filler. I used a, uh, a local um, beauty clinic here in Perth and I will be making a separate video all about that. I of course want to share with you what my experience has been like. I was quite curious and uh, I'm quite pleased with the result. The symmetry of my lips has been somewhat restored which is great so I notice that every single day when I'm putting on lip color and lip pencil I really appreciate the fact that the shape of my you know, the two sides of my upper lips are a little bit more symmetrical. So that's really pleasing. And um, yeah, I, I like it. It's just a little bit, you know, something just a little bit different. But I would say that has been a favorite for me without wanting to glorify it in any way. Um, and I, there will be a balanced video coming with that soon. Home fragrance that I've forgotten to mention for the last couple of months, are a new scent from the brand Airwick. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I just mentioned my home fragrances in my beauty videos because they make me feel wonderful. I walk through the house. I love it when my house smells beautiful and I think I just stand a little bit taller and oh, I just I love a nice smelling house. So um, Airwick has no idea who I am um, but they've released this Life Sense multi-layered fragrance range and this is called the Mystical Garden range. I've got the diffuser which is completely empty and the um, just the, the, the room spray I guess is what it's called. The Mystical Garden is described as marshmallow, raspberry and rose. So it gives you a bit of an idea it has, um, yeah, what, how do they describe it? Sun ripened raspberries, blooming roses, and delicately soft marshmallow. It's sort of, you know, it's sweet, it's fruity, but um, I just, I really like it. It's probably, if you like the more marshmallow scent, I think you'll like uh, the Mystical Garden scent from Airwick Life Scents. I can find this at some supermarkets um, and not at some other supermarkets, but it's the Airwick Life Scents life sense range and I think they might have also candles the little fragrance candles as well but do look out for those if you have access to Airwick absolutely lovely um, makeup that I've been enjoying this month now look out keep your eye on Mecca because I think they might be coming out with another um, release of this palette. This is one that was sent to me from the beautiful, the lovely Chloe Morello, Australian beauty blogger extraordinaire. And this is a collaboration palette that she made with Ciate London. It's absolutely fabulous. It's called the Pretty Fun and Fearless palette curated by Chloe and it's beautiful. We've got a range of mattes and shimmers. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. You can create so many different looks with this palette. What I especially love about it is these three shades up here. I love these warm shades. They create a beautiful transition shade, beautiful with coppers and purples and plums and golds. I'm just, yeah, I'm loving this palette. So Chloe, well done. I think you can get this at Sephora and ASOS if they are still in stock. I believe it is limited edition and it comes in a beautiful little gift baggie with a, um, a lip product and also a mascara, I think. So I think it does present pretty, will represent pretty decent value. Uh, and as I said for you Aussies, keep your eye on Mecca. I think there will be another release of this palette. Other makeup that I've enjoyed this month, this is a new product from Lancome. It's relatively new. It's the Cushion Blush Subtle, and this is the shade 024 Sparkling Frambois. I am wearing it today. Um, I love that, I don't know, it's a little bit different to a cream blush. You've got the cushion blush in there. It's very, very blendable. I don't use the puff that it comes with, but you certainly could. Really nice and easy to pack in your handbag to reapply without any fuss, but it's just such a beautiful blendable product that stays longer than some of those more shinier sort of cream blushes. It just blends in beautifully. Lovely, lovely shades. Thoroughly recommend. I feel like it lasts a long time on the face as well. Definitely check those out. This is an oldie but a goodie. I... I feel like I discovered this powder way before I ever heard anyone mention it, but it's quite, um, it's got quite a popular following now. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. It's a beautiful powder. If you're like me and you have pores and you wish that your makeup didn't exacerbate it quite as much, or you just wanted something that would set your foundation um, that didn't leave things quite so dry or, or porous, this is a really great one. It's a universal translucent shade. Poreless finish airbrush powder is how they describe it. Um, brilliant, brilliant. This is probably the third or fourth 
container of this that I've gone through over the years. I really, really like that. A great loose powder. These products are relatively new releases from one of my favorite foundation and face powder and face bronzer brands, Guerlain. Yes, the one and only. Absolutely gorgeous brand. I picked these products up in Paris from the gorgeous Guerlain Boutique on champs elysees and um, they have a wonderful, well I guess they've repackaged at least, the Meteorite's base, beautiful little pink pearls, gives a really nice sheen, lit from within type of glow, very photo friendly to the face. And then I ended up picking up two shades of the Guerlain Lingerie Depot. This is a new reformulated Lingerie Depot foundation, described as giving you natural perfection, skin fusion texture, <laughs> SPF 20, and I kind of mix these shades, the 04N and the 02W to come up with something that matches my um, skin. You can see they're really quite, I'll well, hold it these way, this way, really quite different shades, but beautiful, really nice, buildable, great sort of um, dewy finish. I'm not wearing this one today, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful foundation. Guerlain, you never disappoint. Another foundation that I've been enjoying this month is uh, in a sample size here from Chanel. This is a new, their newest foundation, and I have bought the full size. It is probably one of the most expensive foundations I've ever purchased, but it is beautiful. It is really nice. So I will recommend it to you but I will warn you of the cost. This one is sort of, I guess, um, on the back of the success of their Sublimage anti-aging range. This is the Sublimage Le Teint, so the foundation, the Sublimage foundation. They describe this one as being an ultimate radiance generating cream foundation. I'm in the, th in the shade 30 beige. Do go get a color match um, before you buy, certainly before you spend the money on a full size. It's quite a lightweight foundation, great for every day. If you just want something that's going to even things out, give you a bit of radiance. It's not too dewy, bit of radiance, bit of coverage. Um, I think you'll really like this foundation. Another product that was recently released from Chanel, and I'll include a link to my video sharing with you the latest collection, is their I think this is their very first, cream liner. This is the Calligraphy de Chanel, long wear intense cream eyeliner. I am wearing it today on my upper lash line. Beautifully blendable. I love the brush that it comes with. It comes with an awesome little angled liner brush. I think this is being added to their permanent line. Do check it out. If you like cream or gel liner, I think you won't be disappointed. This sits beautifully on the tight line. I feel like it stays all day better than any other gel or cream liner that I have tried. It's really, really nice and creamy. Um, love it. Definitely check that out. And then the other product that was recently released from Chanel is uh, this blush. This is the Jouer Contrast in the shade Hyperfresh. Uh, I'll include again a link to the video just that shows you swatches. It is a shockingly, shockingly bright pink blush in the pan, but oh my goodness, it just gives such a beautiful glow on the cheeks. I love, love, love this blush. Some other makeup products I've been enjoying. Oh, I actually have one more from Chanel. This is the, this was from, I think this is from the, um, the Red Range. What was that? collection called. Can't remember, but um, this is the Chanel Stilo Yo Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Eros. Eros is just this beautiful sort of um, ready type plummy type burgundy type shade. It's dark enough to use as a liner to define, you know, your upper lash line and your tight line area and your waterline, but it's just such a unique shade. I'm going to call it Raisin. As you blend it out, I think, you know, some more of the reds come out. It's just beautiful. It's not like any other liner I own. It's so creamy. It is long wearing. I think if you've got green eyes or brown eyes in particular, you'll definitely be interested in uh, having a closer look at that. It's gorgeous. This is also a product that I ordered from MAC. This is part of the uh, Selena line. The shade of lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Glaze Lipstick in Amour Probable. <laughs> this is the glaze lipstick from the Selena range in the shade Amor Prohibido. Prohibido. Prohibido, I think is how you say it. Amor Prohibido. So um, forbidden love, maybe, I guess, is that, uh, f please forgive my Spanish uh, pronunciation, my goodness. Amor Prohibido. It's really not that hard. I don't know what's wrong with me today. You've got a bit of a shine there. Beautiful everyday lipstick. Thoroughly recommend. Um, I'm wearing lashes today that are 
favorites for the month. This is from the brand Velour Lashes. I do offer a discount code uh, down below. It is an affiliate code in the description bar. These are gorgeous. You've got a gorgeous flare on the outer corner. I feel like that does really nice things for my eye shape, which can sometimes be a bit round. These are the Flary God Mum lashes and I love them. Thoroughly recommend them. Um, some brow products from Benefit. Benefit revamped their whole brow line in recent months and I adore so many of their brow products. Honestly, I don't think there's a single one that I don't love. What I'm wearing today is something that I wear most days. I adore their Cabral, um, what, how do they describe this? A cream gel brow color with brush. I'm in the shade number three. The brush that comes in the packaging is a beautiful little angled brush that just applies the product perfectly. It just gives you just enough working time to you know, work with what you need and then it dries down to a very long lasting finish. Definitely something I would wear to the beach or the pool without worrying about it. And then I like to sort of set with um, this. This is a long time favorite brow product of mine from Benefit. The Gimme Brow repackaged into this gorgeous little silver packaging. I'm in the shade. Well, actually I wear the shade one and three just depending on what I'm going for that day. This is a brow volumizing fiber gel. I went to an event a couple of months ago with um, Benefit and they showed me a different way of using this product rather than just brushing it through. So I will have to share that with you in some kind of um, video, but I love the combination of these two products. It is what I'm wearing today. Adore, 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 adore. Okay, now I have some skincare and some hair care and we're done. Skincare, this is such a unique product. It was sent to me from Beauty Directory, which is just a, you know, like a beauty panel. They work with all kinds of different brands and they send different products for trialists to trial uh, and um, also, you know, respond on a Beauty Directory panel survey, what we thought of it. So this is from the brand Inoxa. It is the, um, or Save Our Skin by Inoxa range range and it's the Notox smooths wrinkles without injections. It is a hyaluronic acid based eye patch set. You're supposed to use these every two to three nights and the eye patch is made in a way that sort of helps to deliver the hyaluronic acid um, to your eye area. These patches you're supposed to wear overnight as I say, every two to three days, and it gives you long lasting results. They have, you know, pictures on the box that show, you know, the results eight weeks after using the treatment. It's not a treat, it's not a cheap treatment, but the idea is that you're using this and getting results on your crow's feet and fine lines and wrinkles around your eye instead of using the needle or using Botox. So if you compare the price, I think, um, you know, and the fact that you're not actually getting a needle injected into your face, I think that you might really be quite interested in this product. So um, yeah, this is a favorite. I have taken before and afters and uh, I will include um, that in an upcoming video too. But do check it out. You can get that at Priceline and I was just intrigued. I was dubious and um, for now I have noticed results definitely with that. So very impressed. Some skincare, other skincare I've been enjoying this month. These little pads from Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare, this is the Alpha Beta Glow Pad. You put these on cleansed skin once a day. It's an anti-aging exfoliating self-tanner with active vitamin D. You know, if I'm tanning the rest of my body and, you know, washing and exfoliating my face every day, it needs a bit of help to retain any color to go with the rest of my body. And I feel like these fit the bill. Really great product. Um, again, I've been using it once a day on dry skin, dry cleansed skin, and then upon that, I'll apply the rest of my skincare. So I love those little daily pads. I've been loving, loving, loving this product from Dermalogica. This is a new release called the Phyto Phyto Replenish Oil. This is a daytime oil that you're supposed to press into your face underneath your makeup. And I have oily skin, but this has been beautiful. Again, if you're after a glowy, dewy look to your face that looks hydrated and healthy, I think this is definitely worth a shot. Dermalogica offers $15 fa uh, flash facials, $15 flash facials at their counters. And I think at David Jones counter, Counters, that is a great opportunity where you spend $15 to actually get it applied to your skin by the professional at the Dermalogica counter. The $15 is completely redeemable for product. This is, um, I'll include retail pricing for this one down below, but it's beautiful. I just press about three, four, five drops into my face underneath my makeup and the results are beautiful. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend, especially if you are wanting that dewy, glowy or anti-aging, you know, 
concerns. Another one I've been enjoying, this is from an Australian brand, Skin Institute. This is their Retinol Serum. It reverses, prevents, and repairs the appearance of skin damage. Now, since I've had the Pikachu, I will do anything to make sure that I'm doing anything I can to help supplement, you know, the SPF that I put on my face every day to make sure that the pigmentation doesn't come back. Retinol is uh, certainly one of those ingredients that you'd be using along with vitamin C, E, those kinds of um, skincare ingredients to make sure that the pigmentation doesn't come back. The Retinol Serum is uh, something that you use every other night. Apply one pump every other evening on clean, dry skin. They recommend using it also with the Skin Institute Vitamin C Powder that they carry. Um, but this is just a really nice one um, that is recommended for sun damaged, breakout prone and pigmented skin. I'm enjoying that and I think it's doing good things for my skin. Um, this is one that I uh, um, discovered in a recent Maslow & Co box. And the most recent one was from Korea. Of course, they specialize in all kinds of skincare. And this is the May Coop Raw Source. This one is along the same lines as all of your other sort of watery facial treatment essences, which we're all familiar with. What I love about this, unlike, you know, the most popular one probably that started it all, is that the smell of it is so pleasant. It's beautiful to use. It's a little bit more viscous than the SK2, um, but I'm really enjoying it. I think it's doing really nice things for my skin. I'll use this after my Cero Zinc and before my serum. Um, yeah, I think it's really lovely. Skincare this month, I've really been enjoying the MAC Lightful Marine Bright Formula SPF 30 Moisturizer. This is a really nice lightweight moisturizer. If you've tried the La Roche-Posay um, Extreme Fluid, the Anthelios SPF 50, this is sort of along the same lines as that. I feel like it's very lightweight. It sinks into the skin very quickly. You're getting high SPF coverage and it sits nicely under makeup without making your face look greasy. Nice little travel um, friendly handy dandy pump. I think MAC Skincare, as I said in a recent Instagram post, is somewhat underrated. Um, I've really been enjoying their Marine Bright um, or their Lightful range. They have a really great moisturizer, which is beautiful for dewy, healthy hydration as well. This is an oil that I've been using at night. This might have been in last month's favorites as well. Not sure. Pick this one up in London from the brand Pixie. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend Nourishing Face Oil. This is a face oil that smells beautiful. It smells of roses. It's very rich. And uh, yeah, I either mix this in with my moisturizer, I might use it instead of my moisturizer, or I might even tap it on over my moisturizer. But I I am putting this on every night. I'm bringing it down my neck onto my decolletage. This needs hydration and care, ladies. Don't forget about this area all the way down your neck and chest. Um, for hydration, it's so important. But I love this. It smells beautiful. It's just a, a part of my skincare routine that I really look forward to. And then final two products are hair care, both from the brand Di Lorenzo. And these were sent to me, but I'm loving them. Uh, I'm wearing this one in my hair today. It's the Di Lorenzo Elements Sandstorm Dry texture spray with certified organic rice and rooibos leaf extracts. This is Australian made, cruelty free with certified organic ingredients. So um, I think because it's natural based and uh, cruelty free, I think that's going to appeal to many of you. So what I like about this, as opposed to some of my other dry shampoos, is that it does feel like it's got a bit of a hold. After I've styled my hair, I'll spray that in to, you know, in through my lengths, not just my roots, but that hold factor is what, yeah, makes that stand apart from other dry shampoos. Definitely check it out. I'll include links down below as I always do. And then uh, the second product from Di Lorenzo is the ends with bilberry and blackberry. This, um, it's like a balm. It seals, smooths, and protects stressed out ends. They describe it as a unique blend of shine and sealing actives that work together to prevent split ends. Contains bilberry and blackberry fruit extracts for added manageability and smooth hair. I like applying this one to my hair. Like after I've styled it, I brush through the curls and then just to make sure, you know, the ends aren't frizzy, just to go over the ends, I like to just press a little bit of this in. Again, this is 100% Australian made and owned, pH balanced, natural based, no animal testing, no animal derived ingredients, biodegradable and recyclable packaging. Um, yeah, I think that this is just a really nice little balm that I've really been enjoying using in my hair, which can be a little bit, you know, prone to frazzling overnight after sleeping on it. <laughs> that is it from me. 
I would love to hear from you what your favorite products have been for the month. Let me know all about it. And you know, I hope that you make it a gorgeous day. Please don't forget, you are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But you know what, whether you use any of these products or not, it is one thing to look beautiful, but it's so much more important to be it. I will see you again really, really soon. Bye. You're seeing me in the road.